Good morning. Good morning po sa inyong lahat. Welcome once again sa RLCC Radio. RLCC stands for Real Life Christian Communities and this is our ministry. Ako po si uh, Pastor Bong Bailon, Senior Pastor po ng RLCC. And I welcome all of you dito sa ating uh, programa na Daily Devotional. RLCC Radio po is a ministry na audio lang and we broadcast po. Uh, right now, this is our only uh, program, itong Daily Devotional, but we hope to uh, add more no, as uh, the Lord leads us. Uh, for now, ito yung aming uh, kawain. We uh, minister to everyone via social media, via YouTube, also on our website. Uh, we broadcast po live every morning at uh, 7 a.m. And ako po, si Pastor Bong, I uh, share yung uh, devotions ko po from the scripture passage that is uh, recommended po by Uversion uh, Bible app. So every day I go to the Uversion Bible app to see kung ano yung recommend nila na passage. Uh, and then prayerfully, I meditate on it, and I share it uh, with everyone afterwards. So once again, tayo po ay nagkasama-sama ngayon, and uh, if you are listening right now, live, kung saan man kayo naroon, I would uh, appreciate if you would just uh, give me a shout-out, any comments, uh, let me know kung saan po kayo uh, nakikinig, uh, where are you right now. And uh, I praise God for how the Lord is uh, blessing this ministry and how God is uh, uh, using itong uh, gawain na to, to to help uh, a lot of you. So I praise the Lord for your comments and uh, for how you are letting me know na nakakatulong sa inyo itong gawain na ito. Uh, we or I uh, have decided na uh, audio lang ang gagawin nating format so that it would be easier for everyone uh, to avail of this content. Kasi kapag uh, video, medyo mas higher of course ang requirement. And some of you are not able of course to uh, receive this content kung video format siya. But audio I realize is uh, far more helpful. Mas maraming tao na nakaka- Receive nito, nakakapakinig. So, praise the Lord for that. And of course, it's convenient for me rin as well. Dahil I don't have to uh, fix myself up or do anything like that para uh, gawin itong ministry nito, which is of course good. Anyway, um, good morning sa inyong lahat, uh, wherever you might be right now. Uh, you might be listening from a different time zone. So, siguro, I would greet you either good afternoon or good evening, de- depending on where you are. And ganun din naman sa mga tao who would be listening to this via replay. Salamat po for making the time uh, to listen to this content. By the way, uh, itong uh, devotional na to ay available din naman uh, afterwards, siyempre sa Facebook and uh, ganun din naman sa sa YouTube and also sa website namin. But more importantly, available to as a podcast actually. So you can go to uh, Spotify no, uh, and uh, search for RLCC Devotional and uh, you would be able to uh, listen there as well. So purihin ang Panginoon. Uh, so ang ating ano ang uh, devotional natin ay uh, mula sa Zephaniah ayun po ang re- reference text na uh, sinabi ng U version Bible app uh, Zephaniah uh, chapter 3 uh, verse 17 Now before I read that let me just acknowledge some of you are already commenting So of course uh Stora Marites Silapo good morning sa iyo uh Good morning po, PB. Wow, day 21 na tayo. <laughs> Habit ko na po ito. Praise God. Salamat. Thank you, Pastora Tess. God bless you always. 
So, good morning from a Facebook user. Um, si Pastora Tesolet. Uh, yes, baby, I'm being blessed po talaga sa devotion na ito with you. It set my day right bago uh, sumabak sa work at mga inquiries and requests. Uh, then today, Sunday, maganda pong preparation ng heart talk for the Sunday worship din. Yeah, amen. Praise God. Today is Sunday nga. And today, of course, is the day that uh, we Christians uh, worship the Lord. And looking forward po mamaya at uh, 10 a.m. sa aming online uh, uh, worship experience. I invite all of you, if you don't have uh, uh, anything to do at uh, 10 a.m. sa aming uh, Facebook page, uh, Real Life Christian Communities, or you can just search uh, RLCCPHIL and uh, do join us there kung wala po kayong dadaluhan today. Uh, so we would love for you to to uh, join with us in worship and in studying God's Word. Uh, patuloy kami sa series namin, uh, Church from Home, where we are studying, studying the book of James. So uh, today is uh, another special day kasi we are continuing with that uh, study. So we invite all of you to join with us. So si Jepoy also, uh, good morning. Thank you, Jepoy, for uh, listening. Sister Presi, of course, uh, kamusta kayo dyan sa Santa Rosa? Good morning sa inyo. No? Uh, say hello kay uh, Brother John and uh, kay uh, Sister Cecil. Uh, tell them that I miss them or we miss them. No, We hope to uh, be able to somehow talk with them again. Uh, Brother Jepo Yungule, this is very helpful. Glad to hear your learnings, which helps my spiritual growth. Praise God. And thank you, Jepoy, for uh, making the initiative or taking the initiative also to minister. And you're also using the same platform that I'm using, which is uh, StreamYard. So, purihin ang Panginoon for that. So, uh, let's go to our passage today. Uh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah. Uh, Zephaniah. Zephaniah. <laughs> kapangalan, kapangalan to ni Zep, yung isa sa mga... Uh, Interns namin, no? The Lord your God, sabi sa verse 17, The Lord your God is with you, He is mighty to save, He will take great delight in you, He will quiet you with His love, He will rejoice over you with singing. This is a very encouraging uh, passage and uh, I know na it's very tempting to just immediately apply it uh, sa buhay natin right now. But uh, let's try to understand first the context. Uh, the book of Zephaniah is, of course, um, just a short book, actually. Kaya kayang kayang basahin in one sitting. It only has three chapters. And the Zephaniah no, um, is a uh, prophet. Sabi sa chapter one, he is a son of Cushi. No? And uh, he ministered during... Uh, uh, all the Nagdaga by son of Cushi, son of Gedalia, son of Amaria, son of Hezekiah. So he had this uh, lineage, you know, Merushan lineage, na it seems na he, he is not parang sabi natin parang pucho pucho, no? so, but uh, uh, he had a, a good uh, parang genealogy. Uh, some Somebody who probably no, uh, is recognized during that time. And pero mahalaga din yung sinabi during the reign of Josiah, son of uh, Ammon, king of Judah. Now, if you go back to Second Kings, uh, especially chapters 22 and 23, uh, you will know about Josiah. Si Josiah is, is one of those kings who did right in the eyes of the Lord. He started very young, bata pa siya when he became king. Uh, and uh, yung uh, reign niya o yung kanyang leadership is characterized basically by uh, reform. So he was one of those kings who when he heard the word of the Lord on the uh, actually it was parang sabihin natin from a human point of view, parang accidental because he was trying to make some repairs in the temple. Pero uh, as a result of that uh, the book of the law, the law no? or in other words the word of God was discovered and when he heard about it, he responded in faith and started a series of uh, reforms. And uh, he repented, you know, together with all of God's people at that time. 
na ano na tag dito na sa kanilang mga pagkakasala and the lord uh, also responded to him faithfully and told him na he will not see uh, the destruction that was about to happen uh, but of course you know uh, it will still it was going to happen nevertheless because of the sins of the the previous rulers so something na to really think about no na kapag ang mga leaders are you know uh, hindi nakikinig sa Panginoon uh, you know so many people suffer kaya ako, i really believe that uh, leadership matters and very important which by the way i would like to just uh, tell you that the global leadership summit no <laughs> advertisement is uh, coming very soon so just watch out for announcements you know it will be online it will be digital but it would be nevertheless a very enriching and exciting experience anyway so um leadership is important you know? and when a leadership like josiah when a leader jack like josiah uh does right then everyone else uh benefits no hindi lang siya anyway the whole book of uh, zephaniah is about the day of the lord and so that's not a new thing uh we find that really all throughout especially the the prophets you know the uh, the major and minor prophets we see yung theme na yon recurring all the time and that's why you know the uh, the the Jews during the time of Jesus or before Jesus came uh we're all looking for that day you know, for that although hindi lang naman one day yon but it's really they're looking for that time when the lord's promises would uh, finally be fulfilled and so as they look back the writings of the prophets you know they are filled with hope now one day uh, the lord will save them and that's why when jesus started proclaiming uh the good news you know in announcing the good news it was from that perspective or context that he was uh, speaking you know in other words uh he was announcing something that people were expecting you know for so long and so sinabi niya good news you know the time has come you know the kingdom of god is at hand and uh, he, we can see that in the gospels particularly in mark chapter 1 you know we read that announcement you know and he was asking people to change their life orientation because of that good news now you know it, it was not immediate pero eventually uh, over time people began to understand that uh, Jesus was announcing, no, uh, what the, the prophets have proclaimed or prophesied. Unfortunately, ang kanilang understanding up to that time was that it was just going to be parang this one day or time that everything would just be fulfilled, no, all at the same time. They were not really aware that there was going to be a, you know, parang a series of events, but salvation, you know salvation itself would uh, uh, be ushered no or it will begin as Jesus proclaimed you know the, the good news no that uh, salvation has come no which the prophets have prophesied now of course yung yung day of the Lord also involved of course yung uh, the negative side of it which is really all about yung uh, the judgment that was going to happen now, in context, of course, nangyari talaga yan, historically. Uh, first, dun sa northern part ng, ano, ng Israel, which was called Israel, of course, at that time. And then later on, sa Judah rin, you know. Uh, so there was this uh, great <coughs> judgment that happened historically, and uh, the Israelites were, of, uh, were dispersed, you know, to various places. So uh, first there was the uh, you know the uh, Syrian you know uh, captivity and then later on the Babylonian captivity. So it was a series of uh, judgments no, that the Lord actually uh, warned about, and the prophets of course spoke about that. Pero each time, whether it's the Isaiah or somebody, one of the prophets would warn the people about the impending uh, judgment of God. Uh, always lagi nilang ano, at the end of their prophecies, they would always mention about the good news, no? That God would indeed save. 
And so itong ano, uh, chapter 3 ng Zephaniah, uh, especially beginning in uh, verse uh, uh, 14 uh, hanggang sa matapos, uh, are really, you know, these words are really talking about uh, the era of the of the Messiah when he finally, you know, comes to uh, ikanga, to bring about the salvation of the Lord. No? Um, although it, it is not uh, mentioned exactly that it is the Messiah that Zephaniah is talking about, but uh, looking at the whole context of the Old Testament, no? uh, we would know that he is talking about that, although it's the Lord himself actually who would come, which is, of course, the same thing. No, The Lord is going to come through the Messiah. No, and he will bring about the salvation that he promised. Let's just read that from verse 14 para we can have a good context. Sabi, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away your punishment. He has turned back your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel, is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. In other words, parang discouraged. The Lord your God, it's in verse 9. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Then verse 18. The sorrows for the appointed feasts I will remove from you. They are a burden and a reproach to you. At that time, I will deal with all who oppressed you. I will rescue the lame and gather those who have been scattered. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they were put to shame. Uh, at that time, I will gather you. Uh, at that time, I will bring you home. I will give you honor and praise among all the peoples of the earth when I restore your fortunes before your very eyes, says the Lord. So, Let's uh, just uh, ask the Lord for his grace as we, you know, uh, listen to what the Lord may be saying to us. Heavenly Father, marami salamat po for your words, for your encouragement. And for this particular verse that we are about to think about right now, speak to us, Panginoon. And as we meditate, Lord, help us to hear uh, what your spirit is saying. Salamat po, Panginoon. In Jesus' name. Amen. So itong verse 17, the Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. So as I've mentioned, you know, this is talking about the coming of the Lord and spe specifically yung coming of the Messiah, which of course, uh, yung mga Jews uh, did not fully grasp na it would be a series of events, you know, uh, starting, of course, with uh, the arrival of uh, the Messiah, Jesus, and it would culminate ultimately in the new heavens and the new earth, where all the things that the Lord has prophesied or promised would be uh, ultimately fulfilled. So this is this long period. This is, the, you know, um, uh, what the prophets were talking about. But itong verse 17, of course, uh, is uh, talking about uh, the reality of God's salvation, which can, which we can begin to experience, no? Sa uh, natin when we believe and we put our faith in Jesus and uh, we acknowledge Him as Lord and we begin following Him. So we can see the, you know, the the results of of that, no? Sa buhay natin. And as we look at this verse, Abbe, the Lord your God is with you. So you will begin to, or we will begin to experience, just as it was prophesied, na yung salvation na yun, that, that God is going to, to execute no, or to bring about when the Messiah comes, would involve first and foremost itong reconciliation you know, that uh, God uh, is going to, you know, uh, bring about, you know, a reconciliation where uh, we, Tayo, those of us, just like the people of God who have been ikang, uh, uh, separated from Him because of our sins, will be brought back, you know, 
into his presence and we will have a uh, reconciliation and, and we will have a relationship with the lord mawawala na yung ano na yon yung yung gap na yon no and so this promise that the lord your god is with you is a promise of uh, relationship and the restoration of that relationship so one thing that we can actually really be so thankful to god for is that through jesus christ no tayo ay uh ni reconcile ngayon with god we have peace with god and we now have a relationship with him and he will be with us just as we are with him so yung presence of the lord no ay ito yung primary na masasabi natin na uh, blessing of being saved you know uh, in and through jesus christ kaya those of you no uh who have come to know him no we all are so grateful to the lord na we have uh, have this relationship with him a relationship characterized by forgiveness and justification we are made right with god we are no longer uh, objects of his wrath you know just like what this verse is saying we have i you know we are now in his presence no and never again are we going to be separated from him so yung promise na yan is something that we or those of us who have come to know the lord really rejoice in and if there is anyone out there listening to me na hindi niyo pa nararanasan to i want you to know that uh, the lord's desire you no know, is to be with you and and is for his presence to be your experience you no know, uh day by day and of course you know uh it won't happen unless we repent you know and change our our way of thinking which is what the lord jesus actually said and announced you no know, that we are to change our mind change our ikanga yung our frame of mind in the way we are living yung whole trajectory of our lives and reassess that and you know realign that to, to the lord and to his ways so when we do that we experience yung reconciliation we experience yung peace with god yung forgiveness uh, that comes by faith uh, you no know, and by his grace so uh that's that's a promise and then sabi he is mighty to save and that's of course a recurring theme then you know uh yung salvation that god uh, can bring about sa buhay natin uh he is mighty I mean, that means he is all powerful to bring that about you know sal- salvation is uh primarily you know yung connotation ito is deliverance or rescue and god is able to to rescue and deliver not just from external evil but more importantly yung uh what is inside of us yung hearts natin which is the root cause of all evil he can deliver us he can set us free and so one thing na pwede natin ano you know ma expect and that we are we should truly cooperate with god is the fact that he wants to uh save us you know and deliver us from the power of sin hindi lang yung the, the penalty of sin that of course is a problem but through the blood of jesus you know we are no longer worried about yung penalty na yun, which is the judgment of god uh because in christ you no know, who is the messiah and because of what he did on the cross he died for the sins of the world yung penalty for sin uh is no longer i know uh a problem because we can be confident that that, that has been dealt with once and for all you know since i the book of hebrews uh however you know sin also has it has its effects and uh through through the years that we have been formed by the world yung i think the different parts of our being uh starting with our hearts you no know, have been influenced or formed you know uh by the world system and by sin and by rebelliousness kaya yung will natin stubborn and yung will natin uh may tendency to want or desire things contrary to the will of god 
yung minds natin, yung thoughts natin have been influenced by the world system as we were growing up. And, uh, and through the years, depending kung ilang taon na kayo, uh, we have um, accumulated a lot of philosophies and ideas that do not really conform to the truth of God. At uh, because of that, you know, yung emotions natin are, you know, haywire and it's going in you know, all sorts of directions and leading us to all sorts of uh, behaviors. Yung, yung body natin has developed patterns and habits uh, that are contrary to God's purpose for our physical bodies. Uh, people have become uh, enslaved sa sexual immorality or drugs or alcohol or laziness, whatever that may be. At yung relationships natin, that too has been affected greatly so that you know, uh, wherever you look, you know, there, there is a, a breakdown of relationships, marriages, you know, uh, people who do not know the Lord, of course, end up, uh, going into relationships that are not beneficial for them, that are destructive. Okay. And, um, sin has done that, you know, to all of us. And we are unable to relate well with others because of it. Sin prevents us from trusting from opening up our hearts to others and being uh, transparent and open. Instead, we become insecure and we become defensive. So sin has a lot of effects sa buhay natin. And ultimately, our souls are without rest. Um, we are weary and heavily laden, sabi nga Jesus, when he was inviting people, come to me, all of you are weary and heavily laden. That's who we are. That's what sin does. And of course, uh, forgiveness is what we have, but we have to be delivered. And that can be very frustrating kasi as we try to uh, understand it. Because means that we think that after the Lord has uh, uh, you know, forgiven us, uh, which is not true. Because once you begin to live the Christian life by your own effort, uh, and your own self-determination. Uh, well, you're like a branch disconnected to the vine. Jesus clearly taught us in John 15 that we must remain in Him. Otherwise, kung tayo ay cut off sa Kanya, you know, we will not bear fruit. So that's why itong verse na to is a reminder to us that the power needed for our deliverance and salvation comes from God. He is mighty to save. And then he talks about, you know, this verse talks about yung, yung kanyang, uh, you know, uh, tingin sa atin or shall I say yung attitude niya toward us. Sabi niya, he will take the great delight in you, you know. Uh, he will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. So this is God, you know, uh, and he, how he desires to, to really have his way in our lives, you know. Uh, sabi, he will take great delight in you. you know? It is not God's in, in, intention or wala sa puso niya or heart niya to reject us or tulad minsan ng experiences natin minsan sa mga tao na we disappoint na parang they become bitter toward us or kaya they find fault kasi Nainis na sila sa atin because of our repeated failures. Not so with the Lord. Sabi, He will take great delight in you. And sabi niya, He will quiet you with His love. You know, one of the things that we can experience each day is a buhay natin if we trust in the Lord. Is that His love gives us peace. And that should really be our main motivation in our day-to-day -day life. It's not so much parang to comply with the, with the rules, but to surrender our life, uh, in His love. The love of God is the greatest and most powerful motivation for our transformation. And, uh, His love, you know, uh, cast out all fear. Fear has to do with, you know, punishment and, uh, doing the wrong thing, but God's love 
forgives us. That's why pag tayo ay nagkakamali, the best thing that we can do is really process that in His love. In other words, uh, if ever malulungkot tayo sa anumang kasalanan o pagkakamali na nagawa natin, if we do so in His presence and in His love, we know that we are not rejected. No? Ultimately, we are not rejected. He wants to delight in us and He wants to quiet our hearts no, with His love. And then sabi, He will rejoice over you with singing. And, uh, you know, it's interesting yung language na yun, uh, He will rejoice over you with singing. Uh, it's like, you know, like, like my friend who um, whose wife just gave birth uh, recently, no? Talagang punong-puno yung Instagram niya and Facebook stories niya ng event na yun of his life, you know? Uh, singing yung kanya, uh, seeing, nakita niya yung kanyang anak, no? Being born and you know, so he's cuddling it. He's a brand new father. He's cuddling it. He's, uh, I could see him, you know, he's really rejoicing and singing. So that, that reminds me of that. So itong language ito, he will rejoice over you with singing. I just want you to know that our Father, our God, you know, through our, through our Savior, Jesus Christ, you know, uh, is telling us today that uh, he really delights in us and he loves us and cares for us. And he's so happy that we are reconciled with him, that we are brought back to him. That is actually, in fact, singing, <laughs> rejoicing and singing. And yung so in relationship natin with the Lord, truly, is a relationship of joy. Kaya nga, even in verse 14, nakalagay, Sing, O daughter of his of Zion, sing aloud, a uh, shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. Our relationship um, is going to be characterized by joy. Joy unspeakable, sabi ni Peter in his letter. No, As we continue to believe in him and love him. So yung relationship natin sa kanya is really a relationship of joy. And that's important to understand. Because that is a barometer. That is a diagnostic tool for us to know where we are in relation to God. Now, joy is not parang masaya ka lang kasi nagkaroon ka ng bonus. You know, joy is far deeper than that. It's a soul word. It's talking about that sense in your heart, which is a gift from the Lord, no? Uh, that all is right. That God is with you. That the Lord is present in your life. He delights in you. Uh, the ancient uh, fathers call that uh, consolation. No, it's the, the the experience that can't be explained. It's not something um, that we just parang try to do sa sarili natin. But, you know, it is a, it is the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Itong joy na to. It is the it is the sense that uh, the Lord uh, delights in us. You know, and that we also delight in Him and in his salvation in our lives. And there's that peace and joy, you know, uh, that we experience in his presence. Uh, but then again, that's not always what we experience, right? So kaya nga I say na joy is a parang diagnostic tool. Whether you are serving in the ministry or doing anything, maybe in the workplace, the question that you need to ask yourself is, do I sense that in my spirit? Yung consolation na yun, yung sense that the Lord delights in me and that he rejoices uh, over me. Uh, do I sense that, you know, that joy deep down in my heart, yung peace na yun. And so therefore, you know, if you can say na parang, yes, I do, I do, I do experience that. Well, give thanks to the Lord, you know, because uh, you don't have to be afraid. You can just continue uh, whatever it is that you are uh, doing right now because yung consolation na yun, uh, comes from the Lord. You cannot produce it. And by the way, uh, kahit na negative yung nangyayari sa buhay mo, God can still give you consolation. Yeah, yun yung parang uniqueness about the consolation that comes from God. Kasi mayroong false consolation. Eh. 
galing sa kaaway na he would tell you na, sige lang, gawin mo lang yan, you know. Maintindihan naman ni Lord yan. That's a false consolation. But the real consolation that comes from the Lord is something unique kasi it does not simply occur kapag mayroong mga magagandang nangyayari. It also is present even during such times that normally or naturally you would not associate with joy. In other words, you know, uh, even in the midst of suffering, you can have joy. So that's a, a condition of a healthy soul, a soul that uh, is connected with the vine, you know. That's the soul that continues to receive from God His grace and mercy. Kaya may joy regardless of the situation. And you know that is from the Lord kasi uh, hindi siya parang nakabase sa circumstances. So ito yung sinasabi ni Peter na joy unspeakable, you know, glorious joy. This is what we have. But there are times that you cannot really say that. Uh, di, di you have joy. You cannot, you cannot say that God uh, really is close and near you. Parang sometimes you feel that He is far from you. So yung mga moments na you should pay attention to that. Because the main characteristic of our relationship with, our relationship with God is joy. So if you don't have joy, you need to ask yourself why. You need to reflect upon that. Kasi kung wala ka ditong inner joy and peace in your heart, maybe it's because you are trying to control your life and you're trying to, you know, control the outcomes and you're trying to be independent from God. You're conscious of God, siguro. You're thinking about Him, pero you are acting and behaving based on your own strength. And you know what happens with that? Ang resulta ng pagiging independent, you know, in other words, working in the flesh, is always the lack of joy. And usually, ang your, your, your soul is filled with anxiety and fear and anger. Yung heart mo has no peace. And uh, yung soul mo is, uh, you know, downcast. And that's when you are looking more into yourself and or others or maybe trusting in idols or living your life uh, according to your own willpower rather than depending upon the nourishment and the, the grace that comes from the vine who is Jesus. He is the true vine. So itong joy na to that we are seeing here in this passage is a good uh, parang basis for us to be able to say, am I still living uh, my life in the presence of the Lord and experiencing His salvation? So, the Lord your God is with you. Son. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with His love and He will rejoice over you with singing. This is a promise uh, to those who would experience yung salvation that comes from the Lord. And it starts today. It starts now when we walk with the Lord in dependence on Him, as we trust in Him, listen to His voice, and keep in step with Him. And as we rely on Him, you know, rather than trying to control the outcomes. When you are so eager and, and zealous, you tend to strive and fret, you know, because you want things to work out. And if it's not working out, which is usually the case, you become angry and upset and depressed when things are not working out. One of the key characteristics of a healthy soul is uh, its ability to receive thankfully with gratitude whatever is given. Of course, you can pray and ask God, if what you are experiencing is not something that is favorable, but you ask with gratitude and thankfulness because you know God is good and He is near. Kaya nga sabi sa, sa Bible na, let your gentleness be evident to all. Gentleness is the characteristic of a soul that is at peace with God. Wherein you don't have to annoy, parang stress yourself out uh, because you want things to be different. You can be confident and content, whether in plenty 
or in want, whether in situations na maganda or even in situations na hindi maganda, because you have learned how to put your confidence in Him. He is mighty, mighty to save. And so He's working out everything for your good. So itong promise na to, even though it's really parang giving us the bird's eye view of the salvation that God would bring about, you know, in the last days. But we know that in Christ Jesus, we already have this foretaste. Ngayon, we can experience this joy and peace that comes from knowing God. So let that be parang a way for you to assess your condition right now. Are you experiencing consolation right now at this very moment? As you examine your own soul and your own heart, do you have that sense that the Lord is with you? Do you have that sense that you are confident in Him? Do you have that sense that He delights in you and that He rejoices in you and that you also rejoice in Him regardless of your situation? Now, if you have that, then I praise the Lord for you. You are blessed. Now, if you don't have that, don't despair. Kasi it is also God's grace for you to be aware of it. Kasi kung ang na-experience mo is desolation instead, then you should turn to God and you should seek Him. Because uh, there might be something right now going on sa buhay mo wherein you are rebelling against His will when you are, where you may be doing your own thing uh, and you, you may be parang rejecting his word in your life. So whatever. Let that experience of desolation lead you back to God. Because God is good. And he is merciful. And he will forgive. Praise the Lord. Praise be to God. Let the joy of the Lord fill your heart today. Wherever you are. So let me pray for you before I... Read all your comments. Let's all pray together. Father, maraming salamat, Lord, na it is your desire that we would experience this wonderful relationship with you, characterized by your presence, but your, by your saving power that delivers us from the power and slavery of sin, and for the joy that you give us, Panginoon, in your presence. Yung relationship na yun that is characterized by you rejoicing in us and delighting in us. And we also, Lord, in spite of whatever is going on sa paligid. Thank you, Lord, for that wonderful, wonderful blessing. At the same time, Lord, I know that some of us may not really be experiencing that for whatever reason. Lord, I pray that today that each person who's going through that kind of feeling of desolation sa puso nila, Lord, may this motivate them to draw near to you, to seek your help, to discern what's happening. And if there's any sin in our hearts, oh Lord, there's any parang attitude of uh, parang rebelliousness, Lord, help us to, to humble ourselves and to turn back to you, and to repent from any kind of disobedience or any kind of hardness of heart. Or maybe just a cluttered life that is so full of hurriedness and busyness that we cannot pay attention to you. Lord, salamat, Lord, Now, whenever we are drifting away from you, Lord, na merong desolation that happens that makes us aware that we need to reconnect ourselves to the vine. Lord Jesus, salamat po sa inyo. Thank you for your goodness and mercy and grace and how you continually pursue us, Panginoon. Uh, thank you. Salamat. And for everyone else who are listening, wherever they may be, Lord, continue to draw, ne draw them near to you so that they, may, they would experience your presence and power and purpose. Sa buhay nila. Salamat po for this day, Lord. Help us today, Lord, I pray, that we may just honor you and give glory to you in everything that we think, say, and do. Lord, may your will be done in our lives, Heavenly Father. May your will be done in our lives. Lord, whatever it is na kailangan namin, we trust in you. 
that you would uh, provide for all that we need today. And we will not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will have its own troubles. Today, Lord, we rejoice. And Lord, uh, forgive us for any rebelliousness or any stubbornness on our part. And also, Lord, teach us to really forgive others as well, to be always a man or woman of peace. And uh, Panginoon, uh, protect us uh, from all dangers and trials and temptations. Protect us from the virus, Panginoon. I pray for all those who are suffering. Lord, may you deliver them. May you heal all those who have been infected, Lord. And for those families uh, who may have loved ones or friends who have died because of the COVID-19 uh, epidemic, dear Lord God, I pray that you would comfort them and help them in their time of sorrow and need. And ultimately, Lord, we pray for uh, a vaccine. We pray that this uh, virus uh, would be, uh, Lord, defeated you no, know, once and for all, Father. Uh, help all those who are researching and doing uh, their best to find a vaccine for this, Lord. Guide them, Lord. Help them. I pray. We all pray. So maraming salamat po for today. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Yeah, praise the Lord. <clears throat> amen. So uh, let me see your comments, Sister Ningning. Uh, good morning po. Uh, praise God. Salamat po sa inyo, Sister Presi. Okay naman po kami. By God's grace. Amen. Facebook user, thanks God sa panibagong umaga. Good morning, Pastor. God is good all the time. Amen po. Ron Kaogdan, magandang umaga, PB, at sa lahat ng nakikinig po rin ng Diyos sa kanyang mga salita ng Diyos na nagbabago sa buhay ko. Tama po yon, Amen. Brother Felix, good morning. Good morning sa iyo, Brother Felix. Marites, ulit hila po. Opo, PB, sa mga adverse circumstances, sigit na mararanasan natin ang grasya ng Diyos. And uh, we have joy and peace in our hearts. Most evident po ang reality ni God. Amen. Uh, and then she adds pa, totoo po, PB, basta talaga mag-trust lang tayo and continue to believe God is indeed with us. Parang dumating na nga po ako sa punto na na, na excited na ako pag may problem kasi nga po mas grabing totoong totoo si God, yung tulong niya, kalapit, kalapitan niya, guidance niya, all that He is for us as a shepherd leading us to paths of righteousness, even yung pamamalo o pagsaway niya sa atin sa mga maling ugali o pag-iisip natin. Ang sarap-sarap sa puso at saka yung pag nasa end of ourselves. Amen. Praise God. Facebook user, thank you Lord for reminding me once again how you love and really want us to live abundantly in all aspects of our lives. God bless, baby. Good morning everyone. And Marite Solet, in everything, give thanks. We can do this. We need to do this. We need to say it. We need to apply this in our lives. At first, we don't feel like saying it. But later on, as we continue to obey, the feelings will catch up and we can feel that we are re real in saying, thank you, Lord, in this situation you have put us in. Yes, in everything, give thanks indeed. Salamat po for all your comments. Praise God. So uh, we are 48 minutes uh, in our devotions today, but thanks be to God for giving us the grace um, to have this time together in his word. So. May the Lord's uh, mercy be upon all of you and may you experience his joy every uh, second of your life. Uh, but if not, you know, let that be a, parang a motivation for you to draw near to God. Because uh, he has the power, he is mighty to save, he has the power to restore you, uh, to heal you. Uh, whatever it is that is causing you lack of joy mo and lack of peace, uh, God can restore you. So draw near to him. Uh, don't let that feeling parang drive you away from His presence. Instead, uh, let that uh, feeling in your soul, yung uh, weariness, yung tiredness, yung lack of joy, let that uh, motivate you to go back to God. You know, Maybe you need to pause, you need to stop what you're doing. Maybe you need to just cease from striving and allow God to heal you and reorient yung direction mo in life. So, purihin ang Panginoon. God bless you, everyone. Thank you for joining me dito sa devotions natin. Remember, this is every day at 7 a.m. No, Dito sa RLCC Radio. 
And uh, I hope that uh, you are blessed. Uh, continue to share uh, this uh, content. At um, uh, you, you can go to uh, our uh, website, rlcc.ph, and also my own personal website. By the way, I haven't really told you about that, bongbailon.com. You can visit bongbailon.com and you'll find uh, all the resources there that I uh, uh, bring out out there sa digital world. So, purihin ang Panginoon. So, God bless you po. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. And good morning.